Well, hello guys. It's Dawn again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to make some steak and potato chis kebabs. And we're going to do them on a Ninja Foodie grill. So let me show you the delicious ingredients I have in front of me. In this bowl, I have three pounds of sirloin steak and I cut them in cubes and it has been washed and everything before I cut them. I have some bamboo screwers over here that I have in water soaking. I have some white button mushrooms. I have a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and I have here a red onion. We're going to be using those. I have some stubs, a barbecue sauce, it's hickory bourbon, and I have some baby potatoes and they're red. I have the red skin ones. So, also for the marinade, I have some McCormick Grill Mates, I have the Montreal Steak, and I also have the Mystique. And what I'm going to do, mix these together, and I'm going to pour it over our um, sirloin steak and let that marinate for about an hour. So follow the directions for the marinade and just mix it up and pour it over your steak. That's all you have to do. So guys, I'm gonna get the marinade together and then I'm gonna cut up our red bell pepper, green bell pepper, or red onion, get our mushrooms rinsed off, and we're gonna get these shish kebabs going. And also what I'm gonna do with these red potatoes, I'm going to wrench them off and put them in a microwave dish, um, like a bowl. And I'm going to microwave these for five minutes. I just want to get them nice and tender. Not done, but that way it won't take them that long to cook on the grill, on the Ninja Foodie. Because you want to make sure your potatoes are done. So, okay guys, let's get this started. Okay guys. Now the Mystique um, marinade mix, it only called, um, called for one fourth cup of water and one fourth cup of vegetable oil. Now the Montreal steak marinade called for one fourth cup of vegetable oil and one fourth cup of water. But it also called for two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. So what I did, I put, I mixed both of them up with the ingredients that it said, you know, the water and the oil it said. But instead of using two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, I used four. Okay, so now I have the marinade here all mixed up. And we're going to pour that over the meat. And I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to refrigerate it for about one hour. And it's going to be really good, guys. So while this is marinating in the refrigerator, I am going to cut up my bell pepper, my red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and my red onion and wrench my mushrooms off. So we'll be ready to put these on the skewers and get our Ninja Foodie Grill all heated up. Because it only takes about 10 minutes for these to cook. But also... I'm wrenching off the potatoes and I'm going to put those in the microwave for about five minutes. Hold on. Okay, guys, I got our meat marinated. The marinade poured all over the meat. I got it covered. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And I washed off our little baby red potatoes. Aren't they cute, guys? So, what I'm going to do, I am going to put the lid on it. I have a lid here and this is a plastic container and I'm going to microwave these for five minutes and let them cool off and when we get ready to put our um, screwers together for our meat kebabs, meat and potato kebabs, they'll be ready to go. Well hi guys, I'm back and here is our beef in the marinade and I'm just going to give this a mix. 
and we're going to start putting these on the screws okay and it smells good guys you can smell all that seasoning from the grill mates okay now let me move this to the side and what I'm going to do is put some gloves on because I like to do this when I have gloves on it just makes it so much easier okay and I'm going to do a couple of these so you can see how I'm layering them and then I'll do the rest off camera and we'll put them in the Ninja Foodie Grill now I have some red onions here and what I like to do let me see if you can see this okay what I like to do is put some red onions down in a pile, okay, and put some green bell pepper. All right, grab some red bell pepper, put some of that down. Now, I have some mushrooms here. I use the, don't like to put mushrooms on, but Hey, they're really good guys but it's just you just have to watch because they'll split and come off the screwer when you're putting them on so hopefully I'll be able to get these on here pretty well I'm only going to put one mushroom probably on each um, thing oh and I have my potatoes that I microwave for five minutes okay here go the bamboo screwers over here so what I, they were soaking in water. So what I'm going to do now is, let me see. What we're going to do, how I like to do this, put a piece of red onion down. So it'll be at the bottom. Grab a hunk of meat. Okay. Put the meat in. Just insert it. Okay. Now, we're going to put some green bell pepper. Some red bell pepper. And we're going to do another red onion. Okay. Could you see this? Now, what I'm going to do is put a potato on. Okay. And reason why I grilled these for, well, I didn't grill them. I put them in the microwave for five minutes. That way, guys, they would get nice and um, they, they won't take long on the Ninja Foodie to cook and they'll be done. Okay, put another piece of meat. Look at that, guys. Now, what we're going to do is layer this again. Put some red onion. Green bell pepper. Red bell pepper. Okay. And now we are going to add one more potato. This is going to be a nice size kebab, guys. Let me move this down some. Just a little. Because I still have to put another piece of meat on here also. Okay. Now see how that looks, guys? Now what we're going to do is take the mushroom. Try to get it through the middle. I'm telling you, mushrooms like to give me problems when I try to do these kebabs. Okay. We got it on. Let me move this down just a little bit more because we have another piece of meat to put on. Okay. Now put another red onion. And what we're going to do is put a piece of meat on the top. Another piece of meat. And seal it with a red onion. Now look at this, guys. Okay? Doesn't that look great? Now, let me move this to the side. I'm going to do one more. 
and I'll do the rest of these off camera. Okay, get another screwer here. They're in the water. That way they won't burn when they get on the grill. Let me turn it like this. Come on, guys. There we go. Red onion. Okay, now we're going to put a piece of meat. And this sirloin, it, it really does good um, once you marinate it for these um, kebabs. And it cooks up really tender, guys. Come on, get in there. I don't want to stick my finger. <laughs> I have done that before. Pushed it in and it just came right up and stabbed me. There we go. Just be careful when you're doing these. Okay. Now get some green bell pepper. Red bell pepper. Okay. Red onion. And we're going to put a potato on. Okay, get a nice potato. Just put it up through there like that. Okay. Now we're going to put another piece of red onion. Oops. There we go. And let's grab another chunk of meat. Because you want these nice and meaty guys. Um, it'll eat like a meal. Believe me. Eat a couple of these. Whatever you want to serve it with rice or however. You can serve it with salad. Um, just do you when it comes to the sides. Okay. Now. We're going to do some green bell, pe bell pepper. Well, let me put a piece of onion in there. I always like the onion in between. That red onion is so sweet. Okay. Pepper, red bell pepper. And I'm knocking my mushrooms all over the place. Now we're going to throw another potato on. And then we're going to do the mushroom. Let me do this one. Okay, let me move these down a little. You just have to adjust them because I'm putting a lot of stuff on here, so you just have to adjust it. Okay, let me get a red onion and we're going to top it with a piece of meat. Okay, guys, that's all to it. So, what I'm going to do, let me get a smaller one. What I'm going to do is do the rest of these off camera. Oh, these are some nice sized pieces of meat. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. And then we're going to put them on our Ninja Foodie Grill. Okay. So, here go two. And you see how they look. So now I'm going to do the rest of these off camera, guys. I'll be right back. See you then. Well, hi guys. I'm back. And look at our beautiful shish kebabs. So look how nice and pretty they look. So it was a, to my surprise, my mushroom stayed intact. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to preheat the Ninja Foodie Grill. Let me turn it on. And I'm going to hit grill. It automatically goes to 10 minutes and it goes to high. I'm going to push start. So it will let me know when the grill is ready. Then we'll put our shish kebabs on. Okay guys, our grill is ready. It says to add food. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Let me see if you can see this. Okay. Now let's get some of these shish kebabs on here. Now I did, out of that meat, I did get 15 kebabs with everything on it. And I got like three kebabs that was um, just all meat because my granddaughter doesn't like the vegetables. So I got 18 kebabs all together out of that meat. Okay. I'm going to try to put five on here at a time. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid back down. And let these cook and it will tell me after five minutes to flip it and I'll flip them and we're going to base this with some of that um, 
stubs hickory bourbon barbecue sauce it's going to be good guys see you in a bit okay it says to flip the food so we're going to turn these shish kebabs over look at that guys now let me see mmm yum they smell good you can smell those peppers and onions just give them a flip and we're going to cook them for five minutes on the other side okay we playing around. Here we go. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. Sometimes you just, it's easier just using your hand and one of my onions fell off, but that's okay. Those are the ones I had at the end. Okay. Now we're gonna flip these. Well, I flipped them and we're gonna let these cook five minutes on this side. And then we're gonna baste all sides of them with that um, bourbon, barbecue sauce, the hickory bourbon. And these will be good. And I'm just gonna let them go for maybe about two more minutes. So I'm gonna add two more minutes to the clock and we'll be good to go. So that'll be a total of 12 minutes cooking time. Okay. Okay guys, our grill has finished. Oh, look at this. Oh my. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to base these with barbecue sauce. Mmm, yum. I can't wait to eat these. Okay. And we're going to let these go for like another two minutes. And our shish kebab should be done. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these go for one minute on this side. And then I'm going to flip them. And that's just so the sauce can glaze on it. Oh, and I love this bourbon barbecue sauce. So you can just load it up. Mmm, yum. These smell so good, guys. And they're going to taste delicious. Okay. So I'm going to let this go for another minute. And then I'm going to flip them, base the other side, and let that go for a minute. So look at this, guys. Don't that look good? So see you in a minute. Okay guys, our minute is up. Oh, look at these. And you can see how the sauce kind of glazed on them. So now, let me flip these over. Put some sauce on the other side. Let them go another minute. And then these are ready. Look at that, guys. Mm, mm, mm. And this kitchen smell so amazing right now. Look at that. So you're just really wanting the sauce to glaze on them. Okay. Move these. Like that. Okay. Now, let me get my sauce. And then I'll cook the other ones off camera. Because I have a nice amount of shish kebabs here. Okay. And you'll see the end result. But I just wanted you guys to see how I did this. Because 18 shish kebabs is a lot. So I just wanted you to see these first five. And then I'll do the rest off camera. Okay. So that way you got the idea, you got the gist of what I did. Okay. Here we go. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay. I'm going to let these go the other minute. And I'm going to take these off. Okay. Okay, guys. Our sister Bob is ready to come off. And I'm going to cook the other ones off camera. And... 
I'll show you the end result. Well, hello guys, I'm back. And look at our shish kebab. We're going to have to give this a taste so you can see exactly what's going on here. Hmm, which one? Look at this, guys. Isn't that look delicious looking? And the smell and the taste. Mm. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a bite of this. Because I want you to see how the potatoes look inside. Okay. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Potatoes nice and soft. Mmm. And look at the mushrooms. Let's get a piece of this meat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at that, guys. The meat's nice and tender and juicy. Mmm. 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 This is so good. I think I'm getting ready to lose my potato. <laughs> But make this for your family, guys. Mm. These are flavors with a twist. Steak and potato kebabs. Make this for your family, guys. The 4th of July is coming up. Um, I wanted to post this um, for Memorial Day. But I got so busy and I really didn't have a chance. So this will be something good for your cookout for on the 4th of July that's coming up. Or whenever you want to give a cookout, this is really delicious. So go to flavorswithatwist.com. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, YouTubers, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. I mean to tell you, these kebabs are delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I can't quit eating them. And I took another bite of that meat. It is so tender. And look at the mushroom. It actually stayed intact. <laughs> I was surprised about that. Because usually I'll be chasing them. And they'll fall off if you don't stick them in the screw right. So. This is Donna. From Flavors with his Twist. Or Steak and Potato Kebabs. So make this for your family guys. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.